Hi, I'm Cherie Valentine with Inspired Love by Design. In previous posts, I've been talking about how excuses can keep you from the love that you really desire and how false beliefs that we're holding on to can interfere with our allowing Mr. or Mrs. Wow into our life. Now, naturally, most of you are unaware that you're doing this. Yet since I've worked with so many people, I have found that if we look at your situation deeply and honestly, something is getting in the way. And it's usually a big fat lie, a belief that you have, and an excuse. It's an excuse to keep you safe from another disappointment, another relationship that ends in disaster, or worse, never even begins. Don't let this happen to you. If you're ready to share your life with someone special, loving, wonderful, and perfect for you, then start examining what your beliefs are around love and relationships. Get rid of those excuses that are keeping you on the lookout rather than in the midst of an ideal relationship. One of my favorite ways to bounce out those non-supportive thoughts is to tap them away and all the reasons why you believe they are true and tap into the new, empowering, wonderful truths that you are willing to embrace. Today, what I would love to focus on with you is the huge misunderstanding that all the good ones are taken. Okay, all the good ones are taken. Is this you? Do you hear yourself saying that to yourself and to your friends? Are you out and you notice all these wonderful men or women who are with someone else, not you? If that's happening, that's a good thing. That's a wonderful thing, actually. It's great because you're noticing what's missing. You're noticing what you want. The only thing is... If the vibration you're looking at is, oh, that can't be me, or why isn't that me, or why haven't I found it, then you're sending out the wrong message. You're sending out the wrong energy. What you want to be doing is like, wow, I love it. I love how happy that couple looks, and I can't wait till that's me. I know that I'm ready, and I'm wait. I'll find Mr. Wonderful. I'll find Mrs. Right for me. That's a whole different way of looking at it. So I don't want to give out the false misconception that tapping is the only way or the only thing that we can do to increase your chances of love. It's part of a broad spectrum program that I offer. However, I do feel that um, by being able to offer you these tiny little tidbits and just tapping a little, one, it could do an experience of what's what it's like, and you can experience for yourself how it can really make a difference in any area of your life. So say the statement, all the good ones are taken, okay? Check in with yourself. On a scale of 1 to 10, how true is that for you? 10 being, oh my God, oh, that's so true. I think there's no good men left. There's no good women left. Or 1 being, yeah, doesn't apply to me at all. Okay, so just check in with where you are in that, and we'll tap around it. And even if you don't feel this way, you know, I find that tapping it anyway is just really a wonderful thing to do because you're still you're still releasing the energy that's in your body and you know collectively tap for someone else maybe who this is more true for them and 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 what you can do while you're tapping is set the intention for yourself of maybe what's a more true statement so while we're tapping on these other things you're tapping with the intention of what's really what, what my issue is and you're still being able to work through it okay so on a scale of one to ten how true is this for you all the good ones are taken all righty and let's start tapping okay so i'll tap and pause and you repeat after me. Even though all the good ones are taken, I choose to love and accept me. Even though all the good ones are taken and there are none left for me, I choose to honor who I am. Even though all the good ones are taken and I want one of the good ones. I really do. I'm just not sure there are any left. I choose to accept me, love me, honor me. All the good ones are taken. There are none left for me. There were never any for me to begin with. I've never had a good one. I want a good one. I think I do. I wasn't sure I did. 
But as I'm sitting here watching this happy couple, every part of me is aching to be loved. And I really don't like how that feels. So I pretend that I really don't want that. It's easier. It's safer. Ah, who am I kidding? Yes, I do want to be loved. And I want a man. I want a woman. Use the right word that applies to you. <laughs> Those. I want one of the good ones. I need one of the good ones. Where are they? Why are they all taken? It's just not fair. I want a good one. I want love. I want a partner. I want someone to share all the wonderful things that I have to offer. I want someone to experience my life. But I want a good one. Someone who will appreciate it. And someone who will give back. I've been burned before. And I don't want to be burned again. Nope. I'm tired of being burned. I'm tired of all the empty dates I have. I'm meeting these people and it goes nowhere. And yet all around me, I see all the good ones. Where's the good one for me? Perhaps. I just haven't been ready to find them. Maybe I wasn't even sure I was looking. So maybe rather than looking at what I'm seeing with sadness and remorse and, and like I'm missing out, I can see the joy I didn't even know that I liked the quality that I'm seeing. I've actually never experienced that before. So how would I even know I wanted it? I didn't know it existed. And now I do. And that's a good thing. It's a good thing. And now I know what I can look for. And what I can appreciate in another person. I think I'll keep on the look for that. Every time I see someone that I think is a good one. I'll stop for a minute. And really. I'll really see what it is that I think is so good about about that situation, about that person, about what I'm seeing or hearing. And then I'll know. That's right for me. Oh, how exciting. I'm really stepping into a new place. Of designing and creating a love that is perfect for me. I like that. Okay, take a deep breath. That was a really quick tapping and um, just check in. How are you feeling? What's that number at when you say all the good ones are taken? Is it still a 10 or a 9 or an 8 or a 5, wherever it was when we started? I hope so. If it hasn't moved, then keep tapping. Go back and do the video again. Use your own words. What's showing up for you? Tap on it and let it go. And tap on what you want to believe. Till next time, here's to your love.
and keep tapping.